Hi, my name is Lou Roper. I've had the great fortune of being in an industry that I dearly love for over 40 years, the horse industry. That includes training, lessons, clinics, and also the show pen. In that time, I've had over 10,000 goes in the horse show trail arena, 25 national champion trail titles, and in a one-day show, I showed 87 times in events that included trail, western riding, and reining. With that knowledge and experience, I can help you become successful with your horse. It doesn't matter your age, ability, or experience level. It doesn't even matter what breed of horse you ride. I can help you. So let's get some trail obstacles together and get started. In this section, we're going to look at working the gate. There's several ways to go through the gate, but for this section, we're just going to do a right hand push away. I've asked my German associate, Mr. Martin Otrimba, and his horse relic to give me a hand in this demonstration. So I'm going to ask Martin to start working the gate. One of the first maneuvers that you need is to be able to move your horse sideways or laterally into the gate. The horse stops there quietly. Martin works the latch. Very good. Starts a few steps backwards. Easily guides the shoulders through the gate, letting the horse pass through, positioning the rear end around, and then back to the side pass and maybe a back step or two and relatches the gate. The backup is also a part of the gate. So your horse needs to side pass, be able to back up, be able to move the shoulder, and be able to move the hip. So in my experience, if a person has a failure on the gate, it's because they haven't developed enough leg control on the horse. Another thing as we're working the gate that you want to be careful of is don't be in a rush and side pass your horse up against the gate until it hits it. Some horses get very discouraged about this and really don't like to approach the gate again. As you reach for the latch to undo the gate, make sure you're in a position that as you move your hand, you don't have to lean over. If you lean too far, you will accidentally and unintentionally put the wrong leg on the horse and the horse may move away from the gate. As you open up the gate, make sure it's wide enough that your horse can pass its head through and the rest of its body and it doesn't feel like it's trapped. As you become more proficient at doing this, you can have a smaller area for the horse to work through and make it more tidy. But give the horse in the beginning a lot of room. Now you can do this at home, even if you don't have a professional gait, is take a rope and string it between two solid points to simulate a gait, where you can take the rope, move it from one point, and act as though you're working a gait. And like the rest of the obstacles that we do in the trail horse course, practice is a very key component of being successful. So be patient, work hard.